A Fox News alert now. Fox News is confirming President Obama has received daily briefings on the growing threat from ISIS for more than a year. Yet today, despite repeated warnings, the White House still has no plan. That news is especially upsetting to our next guest. The parents of Navy SEAL who was killed in action, they think our commander in chief actually should resign, writing this. Cowardly lack of leadership have left a gaping hole not only in American security, but the security of the entire globe. Joining us now are Billy and Karen Vaughn, parents of Aaron Vaughn, a SEAL Team 6 member who was killed back in action in 2011. It was all chronicled in their book called Betrayed. Uh, welcome back to you, uh, back again, Vaughn. Thanks so much for joining us. What prompted you, Billy, to put this in writing? Well, uh, many things. It, 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 the, your, your report there at the top of the hour is, is, uh, is, is a perfect example, Brian. Uh, f ever since uh, President Obama has been in office, our national security has gotten worse and worse and worse. Our allies are not contacting us anymore. They're doing attacks on their own. They're doing operations on their own. Nobody respects us. Uh, the president's not home. Um, it's, I, th I think it's simple for all the world to see. Well, uh, that is one way to look at it. Other people watching at home says, well, wouldn't it keep people like Aaron safe because um, the president's not throwing them into war, into battle. He's not putting troops on the ground. How do you feel about that? You know, the thing that the thing that we've always believed as Americans is that if you take our sons and daughters to war, your ultimate goal should be victory. And that has never been the goal of this administration. And Billy and I are fed up with watching families suffer the same thing that we've suffered, losing our only son at the hands of an administration and, frankly, senior military leaders who do not care about the boots on the ground, who care more about political positioning than the than the human cost of our sons and daughters being slaughtered on the battlefield with rules of engagement that favor their enemy. Billy, what's been the reaction to you putting this in writing, you guys putting this in writing and coming forward as the parents of a slain Navy SEAL? Well, uh, Brian, I, I tell you, it's 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 been very positive. There there has there have been tons and tons of, of comments, uh, you know, back on on uh, on the internet and on on Facebook and stuff. And it's been positive. And listen, we have to do this. Aaron's family has paid too big a price for Karen and I to sit back and be silent and watch what is going on in our republic right now today isis is a threat russia is a threat china is a threat but i will tell you today the greatest security threat the united states of america faces resides at sixteen hundred pennsylvania avenue in washington dc by this president not having his head in the game and brian can i add something to that sure you know, the, the truth is, this is not a Republican or Democratic issue. This is an American issue. Billy and I would not care what party occupied the White House. The truth is, we have to start behaving as a nation, and, and our leaders have to start believe, behaving in a way that they prove to us that the next election cycle is not their only goal, uh, winning the next election cycle, staying in power. We are looking for leaders who care about the security and prosperity of this country. Stop playing political games with our nation. And the next big, uh, the next big thing for the president would be ending Afghanistan the right way. Will he leave a residual force? We learn from what happened in Iraq. That directly affects you and your family because that's when Aaron, that's where Aaron lost his life. Uh, Billy and Karen, thanks so much for coming forward, telling your story. Thank, Thank you, Brian. You.